What is up everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. Just felt the need to come at you with, I'm going to call it an emergency video. And uh, this is kind of based on the video that I just, just saw from Travis Kinley talking about he's leaving Prime. Now that video in itself doesn't concern me at all, but then there was a remark in that video said, why are all these people leaving Prime? Well, first of all, I do want to say that not a lot of people are leaving Prime. And I wanted to reiterate the fact that I am not leaving Prime. All right? Now, in his video, one of the things he said was he was going to bet on himself and do all that kind of stuff. And listen, I understand that. If I was younger, my outlook on this would be totally different. And as a young person, my outlook was totally different uh, than it is now. So why am I going to stay at Prime? Well, we got to go back to the, you know, we got to go back in the days to talk about why I'm content with staying at Prime. And I've learned a lot of things. And Travis is a little bit younger than me. I'm not saying that his move is the wrong move or anything. But I always got to take my past into consideration. And one thing I learned in my 53 years is there's always going to be more money. And I think that I did a video a while back saying that when I was young and dumb and full of cum or whatever they say, there was an older guy that was probably, I was like in my 20s and he was in his 40s and he decided to stay at this dealership for like, he's still there to this day. And this is going back to like 1992, still there to this day. Meanwhile, I'm running around, jumping to company to company, doing all this stuff. And uh, he's chilling now. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't really even work. Uh, and I've always thought about that, kept it in the back of my mind. When I was in the mortgage business, it definitely saved me. Because there was a time in the mortgage business where, you know, if you think back to like 2005, 2006, I mean, there was people leaving mcdonald's burger king coming out to the mortgage business getting with some of these companies that may not have been the most ethical companies whatever and they were killing it and a lot of people left and went to these companies i just kept my ass where i was at and those companies went out of business and uh since those loan officers didn't have a foundation those guys ended up getting washed out of the business too but i'm not saying that's the case but the reason I'm not leaving Prime is there's a number of different reasons why. One of the reasons is there's always going to be a place that has more money. So I can, no matter where you go, there's going to be somebody that says there's more money here, there's more opportunity, there's more this, there's more that. And one thing I've learned as well is no matter how much money you make, well, how much money you make has little to do with how much money you end up with. You know what I'm saying? There's somebody out there that, with their own authority making $20,000 a month that in 10 years is gonna have less money based on that income than me because the how we think about money. Uh, so I've never looked at my income as my income is going to determine how much money I'm going to be worth in the future. You know what I'm saying? So why would I stay? You know, I'm all about stress. Think about what I always talk about. I'll get a chance to relax here. or You know, I'm chilling or whatever it is. I'm all about low stress. And low stress for me is familiarity. And sometimes these things can, like, stunt you. But I'm at the point in my life where, listen, I'm in the last like stages of getting a few things put together. I'm kind of set to some degree outside of getting these things in place. That's it. So I like things that are familiar. I don't like to stress about anything. If I break down on the highway, I'm good to go. Uh, I know the freight's always going to be there. I'm making the money I need to make. So I've just learned that chasing money is a never-ending journey. You know what I'm saying? And then you're going to say, well, Lyle, why are you getting this other truck? 
that's really not a money chase or anything like that. That is twofold. And I will always say this. It's not just to make my life better. It's to make somebody else's life better. If I didn't think that I could take somebody out of a position that they're happy being in and put them in a better position, then I wouldn't do it. So, uh, obviously there is a component to that. But if it was about the money, then I would just go and uh, leave Prime, get my own authority, do all that stuff. But I'm not about the headaches. Now, the temptation has been there. But not the temptation from the money because, as we said, the money is not the big issue in what's going to determine my net worth. Or the money that I've made in the past has had very little to do with what my net worth is today. You know, the reasons I would leave Prime have nothing to do with money. They have nothing to do with stress. It would all be like stuff that I'm probably never going to do anyway it would be like stupid shit like I've always wanted to have a well not always once I get got into truck and I wanted to have a Peterbilt 389 stretched out frame and uh, the ability to just run like three or four days a week or something like that and the hard thing about it is knowing I could do it. Like, I could step away, buy the truck, get my own authority, do all that stuff, and it would be a seamless process. But it's sort of like I know somebody. He's going to know who I'm talking about. I think he's changed his mind on this. And he's, like, thinking about buying this $60,000 truck. And I'm just like... the person with the discipline because this person buying a $60,000 truck is like me buying a Bentley or two Bentleys you know it's like discipline is knowing you can do it and having the discipline to not do what you want to do now I'm not saying that Travis my boy I'm gonna call your ass when this is over has anything to do with this but uh You know, hopefully that these are these are things that uh, are taken into consideration because, like I said, chasing money. If it was about the money, just look up, just Google like lottery, you know, million or I don't even know how you look it up. Uh, lottery winners in the United States. And look at how many sob stories there are. Of people that hit the lottery and are now broke. NFL, NBA. Uh, NHL, all these professional sports players, the percentage of those people going broke after seven years of leaving the league is like over, I'm thinking it's in the 70% for all across the board. I know it's like 78% last I checked for football players. So what I do, and I actually, before I even got this news, you know, I try to condition my mind like this. Like I was just watching... Uh, documentaries on poverty in the United States and all this kind of stuff just to remind me of the focus I need to keep in staying on course and that staying on course has nothing to do with the money it has to do with the mentality you know what I'm saying so just wanted to put that out there and not because Travis put the video out. I was reading through his comments and somebody was talking about why are people leaving Prime. So let me just sum that question up. People are leaving Prime because a lot of people start at Prime and realize that trucking is not for them. Or people leave Prime to do what Travis or some of these other people are doing. And that works for them. A lot of people leave Prime because they want to go local. There's a number of different reasons why people are going to leave Prime. The reason I'm staying with Prime is because Prime suits me and my end goal. And my end goal is to make these last few years of work as stress-free as possible in a situation that suits me well. Anyway, Travis, hey, enjoy all that shit. I'm still going to call you, but... Uh, going on the driver advisory board and then fucking quitting. That right there is something that 
I might have to, uh, I mean, I know you are a preacher and you preach, but sometimes you might need to come to your boy to kind of, you know, put you up on, uh, I don't know if it'd be preaching, but look at me as an advisor or something like this. Maybe some things that may not be the right move to make when that inkling is in the back of your head. Anyway, appreciate you for stopping by. I know he'd be trucking transportation. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.